Hello, my name is the Amazing Christian, and today I will be showcasing everything you need to know about the Animal Crossing New Horizons August update. Let's get started! Upon downloading the 1.4 update, you'll receive two new letters in the mail. One from Nintendo will be a fireworks wall, which is actually amazing. The second one, which is much better, will be from Luna, and it'll be Luna's bed, this thing you see here. Fun fact, it's actually originally from Animal Crossing New Leaf. Keep in mind so you can't sleep if you have a costume on, that is, a swan costume. When you select the sleep, you'll wake up in a strange realm with Luna by your bed. Luna will give you four options. If it's your first time visiting, she'll first give you an explanation. If you go, I want to dream, then you'll connect to the internet and you can actually input a dream code, which is the place you'll visit. Like if, uh, and but first of all, all of this stuff requires a Nintendo Switch Online subscription, by the way. So say this was a dream address. This isn't a real one, obviously. And then I browse the library of dreams. And then it would say what it's called. If you go to the about the dream I shared option, so it tells you what the dream address is. By the way, that's my dream address. If you want to visit Astoria, you can update it, adjust the dream address privacy, or delete it if you want. And finally, and where is this? It gives you just explanations, which is the same thing you saw at the very beginning. Finally, you can choose, I want to wake up when you're done. Once you enter the valid dream code, you'll wake in the middle of the plaza in the bed. Then you can explore the place to your heart's content. However, there are certain special things that you should know. One, you have the same rights for lots of stuff as best friends would visiting your island. That means you can't pick up objects. You can't pick up objects and stuff. You can't view mail, but you can do lots of other stuff, including like doing shovels, doing axes, using all sorts of tools. Also, you can't go inside buildings. I think that's pretty normal. In your passport, you can have a comment, and that comment will be what you can say, what you say if people can meet you, if people meet you on your island. Now on this island, I haven't actually found whoever own whoever owns it, but if I do, then I'll make be sure to tell you. And 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 the island's in the same state it was. If there's any special events going on, it'll still stay. It'll stay at the same time forever. All villagers will still be in the states they were before, inside or outside their homes. They can't stay, change, all of that stuff. Plus, the villagers will hint at being in a dream, which is, to me, I think, a really nice touch. Anyway, after you're done, all you have to do is lie back down in the bed and you can leave the island. This island called Waffleton is actually a really nice island, so I highly suggest you visit it. Next up, the Fireworks Festival, one of the main additions, and it only occurs in August. When the Fireworks Festival has started, you'll know several things that are very much changed from the normal. One, there are tons of villagers in the plaza area. They're like almost like more than half the population, half or more than half of the population of your village will be in the town hall area. Next up, you'll notice there's a bench here, which you can sit on, and your villagers will also sit on. Next up, Isabel's in the plaza. With her, you can say a fireworks idea, where you can save them to essentially a 
roulette where you go from Pikachu, then Isabelle, then Tom Nook, then Zerde, Island Flags, and Airplane, and then Broadleaf Tree, and then Vines, and Self Portrait. And then if I wanted to, I could add another one. In this case, I'm not going to, but if I wanted to, I could add another one. Isabel can also just make some small talk. Like she actually now is. Next up, Crazy Red, if you talk to him, will say, Welcome, welcome, you're two steps away from Red's raffle. Fabulous prizes, every ticket's the winner. In Red's raffle, you have to interact with the actual stand. And he'll say it's only 500 bells a ticket. And then when you say, I'm in, so normally he would give you the option to do one. However, in this case, my item's full, so I'll get rid of one item so I can show you. So in this case, once again, he says that. And if I say, I'm in, then he tells me to reach my hand into the box and I get a ticket. I get number five. This is Uchiwa Fan. Nice. And there are 12 different prizes you can get. My favorite are the fountain sparklers. Because they're essentially little fountain fireworks. Some of the prizes you can get are different types of balloons, tweeters, fans, bubble blowers, and much more. In addition, if you look at night sky, of course, there will be lots of fireworks, and occasionally you might see one of your own designs. I'm trying to see. And occasionally you might get big designs like that one that I showed. Plus, when you start the event by talking to Isabel, you can get these little b bopping earrings, like head things, similar to what Isabel is wearing. So all very interesting. I highly recommend so you check this out before it goes away. Every Sunday night after 7. The first of two major minor updates. A while back in version 1.2 and prior, there was a certain glitch you could make that would make the interface and camera mode disappear. It was very useful for taking videos because the camera itself doesn't have an inbuilt option for taking videos. Therefore, they had to do it on a camera screen. However, it was sadly removed in the 1.3 update and many fans were upstand understandably upset. It, not it killed their entire social media pretty much in just one glitch. Not killing it, but made it much worse. However, in this update, they added it back as a feature. If you click down the right stick, so then it turns all of the guide off. You click back on the right stick, so then it turns it back on. Like I said before, it should have been in the game from the very beginning, but again, better late than never. Now, almost all can agree that an amazing addition, as well as one of the definitions of amazing addition, was the custom designs portal. It allowed you to do custom designs for around the world that people have published. However, it was really inconvenient because you had to go onto the web and then do it and then painstakingly enter the thing. However, now there's two new options. The favorite search where you can pin creators and then you can search for stuff by them and the criteria search where, for example, I have a villager named Melba. So then if I go here and I search Melba, and then I say ground or floor. Then there should be, well actually there aren't any, so I'll try again. What about Melba others? There, that should definitely have stuff. Yep, we have all of these Melbas. We have a Melba, we have Melba. You just essentially search for words in the name. It's an amazing feature, and as I said like two times before, Better late than never. All in all, the August update has been absolutely amazing. It's had quite new features. It's refined lots of existing features. And all in all, it's been an amazing update. I hope that more updates like the August update come in on the future. Like and subscribe for more awesome content. And this is the amazing Tristian signing out.